get away from the control room. And let's talk about this stupid ass. <laughs> Salute, man. DOE at the control room, man, and let's let's have a conversation as as men, okay? Um, first of all, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share the channel, man. I'm gonna get me a little coffee, man. I just wanna talk to the people for a minute. So I saw um, salute to John John the Dawn, man. Salute to John John. You know, I spoke to the brother one time because he was working with um my people's OTM man, Taj Million Chop and Go. And um, he's been doing right by them as far as I know on bullpen. So I want to say salute to him. He seems to be a stand up dude. And I was watching the blog that he did on Caffeine concerning, you know, that, you know, his, his battle got bootlegged. And I respect what John John is saying because it wasn't a fact, he, he didn't really care about the bootleg, but it was the arrogance behind it. You know what I mean? People got this attitude. I mean, I've noticed this shit for quite some time that. People got this arrogance about them where they feel they can say and do whatever they want. Like niggas wasn't raised right or something. You know what I'm saying? And until something happens. And I keep telling you, I keep telling everybody, look, the disrespect has got to stop, man. Like until something happens. You know what I mean? Damn, my phone is dust all running. The disrespect has got to stop, man. I mean, if you look. Look, niggas is gonna be bootlegging forever. I ain't, I ain't never gonna change. But the disrespect, like, you know, I don't know, man. Battle rap, to me, I think ba I blame battle rap culture for this shit because it allows people to feel they can say and do whatever they want. Like, it's somehow battle rap has become a thing where let's go to battle rap and I can be disrespectful as much as I want. For well, the viewers in a nigga's face, but that kind of disrespect, well, you know, I did this, I did that, and not, well, I, you know, that's not gonna happen like that. You know, it's gonna be a problem. So, why would you use battle rap as a, as a clutch to feel you can say and do whatever you want? <laughs> but I'm gonna say this, you know what I'm saying? You niggas can do whatever you want. I just know DOA, I don't play them games, man. Like, I'm a comedian, I try to have fun with this shit, but you niggas is out of hand with this shit. Well, this shit's been going on too long. And now it's becoming, now it's getting serious now. Now it's getting serious. And at the end of the day, if something happens, don't sit there and say, nah, man, that was my man. I knew it could have been, he didn't mean it. I don't wanna hear none of that shit. Because you see all the red flags. You see all the red flags. You know what I mean? You see all the red flags happening right now. What's up, boss? All right, let me get a, um, how you doing, man? All right, let me get a large coffee, three sugars and cream. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not trying to be politically correct on it. Your niggas gotta stop being disrespectful to each other. Like, it's the arrogance behind that shit. I saw the shit with Angry Fan and Debo. I thought that shit was hilarious because we come from that cloth of snapping on each other. Like I said, yo, we used to get into physical, I used to get into physical altercations with snapping. Quite a few of us did. Because you cross lines that you shouldn't cross, and it happens. So, but here's the thing. When Debo has said something about caps, oh, thank you. I didn't realize I gave it up. When Debo has said something about his arm, about Cap's arm, right? Thank you, brother. I felt Cap's on that because, I right, have a good one. I felt Cap's on that because I remember when that happened and I did a blog on it, you know what I mean? I don't know Cap's, I never met Cap's, but I felt him on that because Cap's was so gangster with it, he did a blog on it. Like he, That nigga was in the ambulance doing a blog, like, yo, I love y'all niggas. Because he thought he was gonna die. He thought that it was over. He thought it was quiet. He almost lost his life behind that shit. So when you talk about 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 that situation about his arm, 
I don't think it's the arm per se, but it took him to a place. The man almost lost his life. So that's when the disrespect came from Caps. Like that was some ether shit. That was crazy. And it's sad to see for that to go down like that. Cause you know, Devo looked like, you know, he wasn't prepared for that. He thought it was just joking around. He was just there to have a little fun. He didn't expect that shit to go down like that. And I don't think he meant to insult Caps like that. But you just gotta be careful sometimes when you trigger certain things. Cause them niggas knew each other for years. They don't give a fuck about us. They don't know us like that. How you doing, brother? All right. They know each other. But it, it just got ugly. Now that's just gonna go viral. And I'm just saying, let's get ready to rain out here. Shit. And I'm just saying, man, that shit's gotta stop. Your niggas need to chill with that shit. They need to squash that shit immediately. Don't let that shit linger too long. I know how that shit can be. When you let shit linger, linger too long, it becomes something else. Debo was surprised. Debo literally got jumped on social media. And I don't think Debo meant that shit the way it came off. He was just trying to be funny. The only thing that triggered me to laugh is when Cap said that he was ripping, when Debo was ripping people off on Queen of the Ring. And Debo was like, yeah, I did. But he said, that's true. But what about the shit you did or something like that? It was like, wow, you admitted that shit. That, like, I don't even think he meant that he would say that shit. That shit was hilarious. So, your niggas need to be easy on this, man. Listen, we all made mistakes. I made mistakes in battle rap, and I owned up to it, you know. Even though I was being funny and being comedic, some niggas didn't find it funny. I said, you know what, let me let me stand down and say, you know what, my bad, and apologize. It takes a real man to apologize. But it seems like ain't no real niggas out here no more. Everybody wanna get behind the camera and, talk shit instead of being men and having a real discussion and a conversation and niggas want to keep insulting each other Cola if you if you know that you was arrogant disrespectful John John apologize to that man for real like you know what I mean apologize to that man same it's the same thing even with with, with, with Debo like look you insult the caps first he you know Apologize to that man. That's all. That's be men. Ain't nobody ain't trying to go to jail. Ain't nobody trying to get hurt like that. Men, we have huge egos. Our egos are humongous. And I'm just telling you, from a 50 year, 52 year old day, I got allergies. I should have left, left that day. I should have let that tear stay there like I was really crying about the shit. But I'm not. But I will say, coming from a 52-year-old man such as myself, you need to squash this shit. You need to like let it go. You're looking crazy on social media, disrespecting each other the way y'all are. As black people, you should be ashamed of yourself. You look crazy out here. Lord knows I made mistakes I can't take back. So I'm just telling you from experience, you need to get it right, get it together, man. Y'all making a y'all are acting like they're bigger than the culture. They need to get together, man. We 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 have to do better. As a whole. We just have to do better. That's all I got to say, man. Salute, man. I'm out.